Hi and welcome to our video today. Uh, today we are going to be showing you how to use a flash drive or USB drive. You will hear it called, you know, either one of the two. Sometimes it's called like a jump drive. It's all the same thing. Um, so whatever you hear, this is what we're going to be using. The way it works is simple, or it's pretty similar to like a CD or a floppy drive that you might have used in the past. It's just like a little bit newer technology and it's a little bit quicker and easier to use. Um, first, to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like, we have one on the screen here. Uh, it's about the size of a stick of gum, and on one end there's a little metal guy sticking out there. It might have a cap on it, or it might fold out. Um, it's going to be different depending on who makes yours. So the first thing we want to do before we even, you know, save our document or, you know, go to get a picture, is plug it into our computer. So what we would do is take this device here that we see. And look on the side of our computer if we have a laptop or if we have a desktop. It should be like on the front of your tower. And you'll want to look for a little square port that has this symbol on it. Um, that's a symbol for USB. It's going to be um, pretty obvious if your drive doesn't fit. All you have to do is stick it in there. If you meet like any resistance or anything like that, try turning it over. And that might help you out. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you over the computer here. Um, but one, once it fits, it's pretty obvious, and if it it'll be obvious that it doesn't fit. Um, so once you get that in there, you can go ahead and um, open up your documents or your pictures or whatever you're using. Um, for our example's sake, we will use a document that we have going here. Um, we'll say, I'm at the library, I've you know finished working for the day, this is all I have time to do, and I want to save it to my flash drive and bring it with me. So we have our document in front of us. The first thing I want to do is to save it. So I will go over to our file menu here. I'll just click file. And what we want to choose is save as. Um, that gives us the option to choose a location where we want to save our file. And we can also name it. So I'll choose that save as. And we come up with a little box here. Um, first, I will go ahead and put the name in. So I can click right in the file name box. I'll hit backspace to get rid of what's in there. And I can just write, you know, Tom's document. Oops. Okay, so just type in your name there, whatever you like. And the next part is we have to actually go ahead and find our flash drive to save it to. Um, if you've already saved, plugged in your flash drive, um, you're one step ahead of the game. If you haven't yet, go ahead and do it now. And you might have to wait for a minute um, for it to show up. But what you'll want to do is on the left hand side here, you'll see we have a few different locations on our computer. If we scroll down, we want to choose computer. Or if you have um, a little bit, a different version of Windows, it might say my computer. We just want to click on that. We want to look for the one that says removable storage disk or removable disk. And it will have a letter after it. It might um, be D, E, G, or F. Um, it can go up pretty high. Um, but it will always say removable disk. Or it might say like the brand of your flash drive. Um, so if you have like a Samsung or Samsa I think is a brand. You might see that there. Or Cruiser is another one. Um, so you want to look for that, or you want to look for something that says removable disk. Um, to save it on there, all we have to do is find our little icon, double click on it, and you'll see an empty space here. If you haven't got any files on there at all, you won't see anything listed. I've already got one folder on there, um, so we see that. But all we have to do is once we're in here, just click save, and that's it. You'll see at the top of our document, it will change it to the name of what I've named it here, Tom's document. And from this point forward, every time we hit File and just regular Save, not Save As, just Save, it knows to put it onto our flash drive. We don't have to tell it again. So we will go ahead and close our document. And pretend that we are now on a different computer, or we're going back to the library's computer on a different day. We want to open up our flash drive to retrieve our document. All we have to do 
is go over to our start menu. You'll see it's a little round button here. It might say start if you're on a different computer. Just click on that. And we want to choose computer. Or again, yours might say my computer. Either way, it's the same thing. You just click on it. And again, you'll see um, some of our drives listed here. And you want to look for the one that says removable disk. So we just double click on that. And you'll see our document is listed. So if I want to open it, just double click on it. And it opens up the same document I had before. I can keep go ahead and if I want to type more, so I'll write that more. I can just go ahead, hit file, save again, and it knows to put it onto my flash drive. Um, so everything I save from now on is going to go on there so I don't have to worry about telling it where to go again. Um, so when I'm done, say I'm done with my document, I'm ready for, you know, to close up for the day, I can just close out the program again, just hit the X. I can close out my window that shows our documents. And what you want to do is what's called safely remove or eject your flash drive. Um, what this does, it just kind of prepares the computer, tells it what you're going to do, so it's all ready for you to pull it out. Um, if you don't do this, it, your document should be fine. Um, it's just kind of a good practice to get into. Um, on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, you may see there's a little gray icon that has like a green arrow sticking out of it. If you don't see it, you might have to click this little arrow here, and it'll show us more. And this is the one we want to look for. It looks kind of like a smaller version of our flash drive, and it has like a little green check. All we do is click on that once, and it should come up with an option Yep, to say eject. Um, you can either choose eject flash disk or eject mo removable disk if it lets you. So we'll just click eject flash disk here. All I have to do is click it once. And then you'll get this little bubble that says safe to remove hardware. Um, all that means is your computer is ready, it knows what you're going to do, and you can go ahead and pull out your flash drive. So that's really all there is to it. Um, if you have any trouble or you need any assistance at all, feel free to come to the library and stop by the third floor. We can give you a hand or call us at 5935. Um, or again, you can visit our YouTube page and see more videos at youtube.com slash keylockport. Um, that should be all for now. Thanks for watching and have a good day.